Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to bring to you another melted slash empties. And again, as you can see, I am upstairs in my room on my desk. So let's just go ahead and jump right in because I have a lot and I would like to try and keep it under 20 minutes or 20 minutes. So uh, this is the stuff that I melted that I didn't finish that I didn't like. So Koopa Trooper Assault. I feel also, let me know, because I feel like it is pointless for me to do these empties or melted because I feel like my nose changes literally 500 times a day. And stuff that I used to love, I do not, I cannot stand anymore. And sometimes in a scent mm, or in a blend, my nose will only pick up like one thing. I don't know if, well, I know that me being pregnant affects like my sense of smell. So I don't know if I should continue to film these anyways because I feel like obviously they're biased or not biased but like obviously they might not be like what I would have even thought if I was if I wasn't pregnant. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys still want me to film them, I'll definitely still film them. Um, if not, if you would just prefer for me to wait until after I have the baby to continue to fill them, then, then I can do that as well. Because sometimes I feel like, damn, I like this scent and now I cannot stand it. So, if I'm a negative Nancy a lot, it's because there's just a lot of things that I don't like anymore. So, Koopa Trooper Assault. This is from Rose Girls. It's raspberry. Oh, these are the scent notes, so I won't say, waste my time saying them. So, basically, I have a whole pie and a half and a bunch of chunks left. Um, the raspberry sauce is too sweet. The pomegranate, I don't like. Pomegranate at all in wax, I haven't for a while. Um, once it melts for a long time, all that stuff burns off, and it's just like a really sweet lemon scent, I guess you can say. But, like, I just can't stomach the raspberry sauce or the pomegranate. Next is Satsuma Whipped Cream Marshmallow. The thing that I do not like about this one is the whipped cream. I do not smell whipped cream at all on cold, but when melted, this thing smells like like a creamy orange. Like creamy oranges make my make me nauseous. And that's basically what it smells like. It smells like a very creamy citrusy scent and because of that I don't, I cannot, my, my stomach cannot do that scent. Another scent that I have like three bags of backups that I won't be able to melt is this one. Pink Sugar Sleepy Time from Sassy Girl Aroma. The pink sugar, I just like, it's too strong in this blend and I cannot, I cannot do it. I had to turn my warmer off in my room. I had to. This next one is from Super Tarts. And it is, this I melted before I was pregnant. So I use it in a 24 watt warmer. Um, it was strong, but I cut it, I turned it off very early because it was bakery to me. Like it was the sweet cake bites, I guess, was a little too heavy bakery. And I did not like the strawberries. It's either the strawberry or the raspberry, but I'm thinking her strawberry is a hit or miss. Either I really like her strawberry blends or I hate her strawberry blends. So um, yeah, this one, I only used one cube and it was just, it was just not, not for me. If you like bakery and if you really like her strawberry, then I think that she will like this one. It did perform very well, but I did cut, even though I cut it off really early, it still was, it was, it was strong, like really early. So this next one is Siren, which a lot of people were asking me to do a review on or to tell them what I thought about it when I had posted it. So this is from the bathing garden. It was a little sample. I put this in a 20 watt warmer with it with in my room with my door closed so I can try and get like the best throw because sometimes the samples don't always throw for me. And this was actually really nice. Uh, it was, it was, I wouldn't say fruity. I would say it was really beachy. And then you got like a little bit of that like beachy floral note, but the the floral, I do not like floral at all, but the floral in this was nice. I mean, you can kind of tell it was there, and I think you know it's there more because you can. I saw it in the scent description, but it's really more of like a nice beachy scent. It's a really, really nice. If you like beachy scents, I really think you should give this one a try. It's, it's not just plain like watery. It's 
it's like a, a nice beachy scent. You should definitely give that one a try if you like beachy scents. This next one is Sweet Green from The Bathing Garden. I loved this one and I wish I could have done, uh, could have repurchased this before it went off of the site. Um, I didn't get to melt it in time, but this one is very hard for me to describe. If you have smelled beeswax, it does smell like beeswax. It does remind you of spring. It smells like earthy. I did not get any mint, even though it does say a hint, I did not get any mint at all. It was just like a really nice, like the beeswax. I really like the way like real beeswax smells. So it smells like beeswax and it just smells earthy and you get a little bit of that chamomile. It's such a beautiful scent. This one, this one threw pretty well. I'm trying to remember. And I do think it, it did perform well. I would actually repurchase this for sure. Oh, this is this is stuff I melted that I didn't I just didn't finish. So salty sea air white tea. This I got in a random act of kindness. I used the tiniest amount because the other rocket one that I used like oh like literally choked me out. I had to turn off my warmers. So this one I used just a tiny bit. It wasn't nearly as strong. And I'm thinking it wasn't as strong because I used such a small amount because I was so scared it was gonna just blow me away. It just smells really good. It smells like really just smells like a fresh, clean, salty sea air, really. This next one is The Bathing Garden. It's always tea time. And I really like this one. It performed very well in my kitchen with one cube, right? So in, with one cube, it performed very well in my 24 watt warmer in my kitchen. But my kitchen is is a closed kitchen. You, there's only one way in and one way out. It's not open. It's a galley kitchen, so it's long. And it performed good in there. But in my living room where it's more open, it it had a hard time like I had a hard time smelling it so I think in my living room I, if I would have used like two and two in my living room like four pieces total I think it would have performed a little bit better but it did perform it, it performed like about a light medium to maybe medium and then it burned off really quickly I did like that one I, I just feel like I would need to put more in the warmers. This one is Russian Ice Bath from The Bathing Garden. This was offered during the Christmas time. And this is really, really nice. Basically, I would say if you like peppermint, like eucalyptus, that type of scent, then you would really love this scent. It's a beautiful minty, minty, minty scent. I don't get spearmint like that gum note, but you just get like a really beautiful minty scent. I don't know. I don't really get lemon either, but it's really, really good. I would definitely repurchase that one. This next one is Nothing Whatever from The Bathing Garden. I still have three cubes left. This one was really nice. This is another one that I think if I would have put two cubes in each warmer, it would have performed a lot better than if I just put one. I just put one in each, so I should have just put two, but I'm always afraid. I feel like putting two cubes in a warmer is a waste of wax, one, and then I'm afraid that it's gonna be too strong and then it, I'm gonna have to turn it off. So I just put one and I think I should have put two and it would have been better. This is one that I, would repurchase if she brought it back out but it's not one that I would stock up on if that makes sense okay so the next thing I have here these all should, rest should just be plain empties so this is sleepy from the bathing garden it's pink sugar peppermint and vanilla it is amazing if you like pink sugar and peppermint I haven't melted this but this smells good. You can't smell the pink sugar, but it's not like too musky or too something. But it's really, the peppermint in this is just so good. And it's sweetened up a lot by that vanilla. It's really, 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 really good. It's a great, great scent. This next one here is Sansa by Ga uh, Super Tarts by Game of Thrones. I use this in a 24 watt and tea light warmer. It had about a medium to medium high throw. It's really nice blend of both. I find that her pink sugar doesn't ever really dominate any blend it's in. It's always kind of just blended in there, but it's never like the dominant note. So this was a really good one. You can smell both of them. They are both blended very well. And this strawberry, I do like of hers. Next one is Swan from the uh, Super Tarts. 
I like this one. I do like Swan. Now, for Swan, the only time I ever really melt this scent is if I'm cleaning like my kitchen air. If I cook something, like if I fry chicken, if I made salmon, if I ground beef, if I, you know, sauteed a bunch of onions and stuff like that. If the smell is really heavy of food and I need to clean it up and clear it out, I will melt this one. But besides that, I've never just melted this scent just for the heck of melting it. This next one is Marshmallow Frosted Mango Tangerine. I freaking love this scent. It's from the bathing garden. I use this in a 24 watt and tea light warmer. It's strong, it's sweet, and it's fruity. I have like three or four backups of this and I would always repurchase it if she brings it back. I would say you do have to like citrus because you do get like that tangerine note for sure. But you get the mango as well, but you do get that citrus. This is Tropical Papaya Orchard. Honestly, I don't, it was so long ago since I melted this. I don't remember. It smells good on cold, but I, I basically remember nothing about it. Okay, um, Snow from Once Upon a Time. This is one that I was scared of, a, like a wild card, you can say. I use it in a 20, 24 watt and tea light. It is actually a very beautiful blend. I like Mac Apple, but I do not like Spearmint. Spearmint smells like gum to me. And Angie, um, she has a channel, Wax Goddess. She was, we were, she was posted about it and I said, oh, I messaged her and I said, I need to just try it. She's like, try it. So I did, and it's really good. It's very light on the spearmint, but the it it just blends the both of the both of those scent notes blend so well together. It's such a fresh, crisp, and relaxing scent. If I would have used two cubes in each warmer, I think it would have been a lot stronger. But I did just use one cube in each warmer, and it had about a light, medium throw. But the, I feel like that was like a perfect throw. Like, I just feel like that was perfect for the scent and everything was perfect. This is one I, that I would definitely repurchase because it was just amazing. Uh, next one here is Poser Spa from Super Tarts. This one I use in a 24 watt tea light and a 20 watt warmer. This was actually a pretty light scent. It was a light medium to maybe medium throw and it was like a very fresh, fresh spa scent. I would not repurchase that one. Next I have is Seaside Serenade by Southbound Soap Company. This I use in a 24 watt warmer. It had a strong throw, but it was short lived. It maybe threw for maybe about like two hours maybe. It was a, it's like a fresh water oceany scent and I do actually have a whole bag of that. This next one is Raspberry Fluff Puffs from Rose Girls. Before I was pregnant, I really liked this on cold. Now, I don't like the raspberry, it's very tart, and it, the fluff puffs, before to me, I didn't get like really bakery from it, but now it smelled like heavy bakery to me, which I know it's pretty much because I'm pregnant, because before, I, I melted fluff puffs before, and I never really got like a heavy bakery note, but it performed very well, performed very, very, very well. So if you like her raspberry and you like her fluff puffs, I really think you will like that one. This is Johanna I got from Just Jenny in a random act of kindness. It's strawberry, rosemary, and shaving cream. It's a beautiful scent that I love so much. It's a top favorite scent of mine from Vintage Chic Scents, and it performed beautifully. It was, it was about a medium high to maybe high scent throw, and it's just so good. The rosemary mint and the shaving cream are the dominant scents in this blend, and it's just, it performed great in all the warmers. Next one is Tea Party with Alice from The Bathing Garden. I did not like this scent. I had to turn it off but within like maybe an hour and a half. I had to turn it off. I don't know if it's her strawberry because I don't care for her strawberry either. I don't know if it was the strawberry or the honey cream because I don't like honey and wax unless it's honey I washed the kids, which is that Lush dupe. Besides that, I've had honey multiple times from the bathing garden and multiple times from super tarts and I realized I just do not like honey and the honey to me really stood out a lot and I just I did not like it I could not do it I had to turn it off this next one is rosemary mint and T tiki beach this was actually really really good I used um it was a strong throw it was a strong throw and it lasted a long time I changed it out before it even was finished throwing it was 
strong. It was her, you can get the rosemary mint and you can get the tiki beach. So it was really, 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 really good. This is the second one because I used um, two in my living room. I have two warmers in my my living room and I used one entire bear in one and one entire bear in the other. Maybe that's why the throw was like, it was strong. This next one is Sniff My Tarts, Pink Sugar, Satsuma, and Strawberry. This is another one from just Jenny. Um, the On cold, you can kind of get the citrus from the Satsuma and a little bit of that strawberry, but on warm... All I got was pink sugar. I had to change this one too because it was just it was it was about a medium about a medium to medium high scent throw, but it was straight up pink sugar and I could not do it. I had to turn it off, which is crazy, which really sucks because the majority of my stash is pink sugar. So I feel like I'm not gonna be able to melt anything from my stash. Okay, this is Red Musk Body Shop from Candles from the Keeping Room. It, I used this in a 24 watt warmer and it was a bunny and I put the entire bunny in the warmer and I'm wondering if that was too much wax for the warmer because the dishes and those are really small and the wax was almost to the top. So the scent throw was really light and I'm thinking it's probably because I used too much wax, but it was very musky and I, I didn't really, I didn't hate it, but I didn't really care for it because it was like really, really musky. This next one is Macintosh Apple from Country Lane Keepsakes. I used it in a 20 watt warmer. It was like a solid medium and it lasted for a long, long, long time. It's just a nice crisp Macintosh Apple. Same with this one. This was a nice one actually, Blackberry Plum. I don't really like plum and wax, but I think that black, it just really smelled like a nice fruity, like a deep fruity scent, I guess you can say. 24 watt warmer, it was a solid medium throw. And it lasted, again, it lasted a very long time. And Watermelon Fizzy Pops. This is from Rose Girls. I do not like watermelon in wax at, most of the time at all. But I like Rose Girls Watermelon Slushy. And her, her watermelon is just really nice to me. It doesn't smell like a fresh watermelon. I guess it smells more like candied or more sweet. I don't know. But this is Watermelon Fizzy Pops. I used this in a 24 watt and a tea light. It was a nice watermelon. It was very light on the fizzy side, but it had a medium to medium high throw. And I really enjoyed that one. So that's probably one that I would probably repurchase. This one is Mint Machine by Candy Panda. This one is just peppermint vanilla. It was in a 20 watt warmer and it had about a medium scent throw. This one is Mint Lavender from Beezy's. Now, you would know before, if you've been watching my videos, that I don't really care for herbal lavender, but I have been enjoying herbal lavender a lot more recently. So, this is beautiful. I only I cut these things in fourths. In fourths because I, I melt lavender mostly in my bedroom and I always keep the door closed. So, it would like creep out. It would be way too strong if I used half a scent shot. So, I cut these in fourths. And it's still a strong throw. Like it's, it still comes out the door even with a fourth of a scent shot. This one is Trap Queen from Candy Panda. Lavender and Peppermint. I really, really like this. 20 watt warmer in my room with the door closed. And I would say the throw was about a medium. This one is, look, read it for yourself because I do not know how to pronounce that. And it is a grapefruit. Tangelo Mango Fizzy. This one had zero scent throw. I use that in a 24 watt and a tea light and it had zero. Actually, I had the, this one melting in my living room. I cut it in half, put it in two warmers in my living room. This one I had in my kitchen. It was only half a scent shot going in my kitchen. This one dominated my entire downstairs, the tea and cakes. I guess if I've never had tea and cakes really from anybody except for Candy Panda. So I guess if you like that tea and cakes blend, you would probably really like this one. I know it's a super popular one. It's super strong. I mean, it dominated the entire downstairs from my kitchen, which is hard for scents to come out of my kitchen. This next one is Mint Condition from Candy Panda. This had to be my favorite one. I really, that oak just really does something different. It kind of like deepens it or makes it a little bit more earth. I don't know how to describe it, but it's so good. This one is Blue Lagoon, which is fresh and salty waters. Uh, I don't remember anything about it. 
This one is the lavender milk. Again, I cut this thing in fourths and it throws like a beast in my room. Lavender dreams. I turned this off like within 30 minutes. It smelled like powder, like straight up baby powder in there. Green Irish tweed. I do not remember anything about that one. But these little things perform very, very well. Barbershop, I actually did like this one. It smelled kind of talcum powdery to me on cold, but on warm it, it didn't really give me that powder, that talcum powder note too much. And these little cups, I do know that they, they all perform very well. Um, postcards from Italy. I like this scent. It's like blackberry, uh, like a lemony scent topped with blackberry, something like that. So I really do like this scent. It performs about a medium high, but it dies like within two hours. It's dead. You cannot smell it anymore. And I find that's typical for Candy Panda, for me at least in my experience. Okay, so that is everything that I have for my empties. We were able to keep it close to 20 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please let me know down in the comments below. Do you want me to continue to do empties? Or would you rather me just not even bother? Because as you can tell, I feel like I pretty much don't like nothing. <laughs> so um, let me know. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And have a great day.